Okay, let's start uh, start the formal definition of a limit or precise definition of a limit. We know that from the intuitive definition for a limit, it, it is says that when x uh, closer and closer get, gets closer and closer to a, then f x can be arbitrarily close to l. Uh, this definition is not as it is not precise enough in math mathematical sense, and some uh, some other properties and theorem. Uh, we just stated some other theorem and pro uh, and properties for limit. We uh, we didn't prove those properties and uh, and uh, theorems. But if we uh, use the formal definition of a limit or precise definition of a limit, then we can prove those properties. Uh, first, uh, let's uh, state the definition of the, uh, the formal definition of a limit. The definition of a limit, uh, we say that fx, the limit of fx as x approaches to a is l. Uh, that means for any epsilon greater than zero, or for all epsilon greater than zero. There exists. There exists delta greater than zero such that such that uh, for such that when x minus a, the absolute value of x minus a less than delta and greater than zero. The inequality f x minus l, the absolute value of x minus l less than epsilon holds. We see that the f and the limit of f x uh, uh, as x approaches to a is l or it, uh, we can use the abbreviation um, in mathematical symbols that is for all th this symbol means for all epsilon greater than zero there exists Delta greater than zero, such that when x minus a less than delta greater than zero, f x minus l less than epsilon holds. That's the uh, formal definition. Uh, this definition um, is difficult to understand at the first first time because there's many symbols and uh, numbers here, and all are inequalities. Actually, actually, we can interpret this definition use the intuitive definition of the limit as understanding how to understand of this of this definition uh, from the intuitive definition of uh, limit we say that We say that when x 
x is when x gets closer. And closer to a fx gets arbitrarily close to l. What this means, uh, 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 what is related to the formal definition of limit, what is arbitrarily close to L? Arbitrarily close to L means the close to L close to L. The close, that's the, the uh, distance. That is fx, the distance from fx distance, we say that distance between fx and uh, L can be uh, uh, can be arbitrary. Small. Now the close that means distance. The distance. The distance is the absolute value of these two numbers uh, can be arbitrarily Then how to uh, inter interpret it? arbitrarily small in mathematics in mathematics the language the arbitrarily small, that means can be can be smaller than any given number. Any given positive. That is can be smaller than any given number because the distance is always positive. That means for any given number, that's the the second part of the, this definition. The arbitrarily close to L, that's, that means the distance is the distance can be smaller than any can be smaller than any positive number. So that's why we use this definition. That's the mathematic sense. And uh, the first part, closer and closer. to a that means that means x should close in close enough to a that means in some change in some sense uh, uh, in, in some, maybe in some level, uh, should close in a, enough to A. The close is all as a uh, distance as well. That means the, the 
absolute value of x minus a should uh, small enough. Small enough, that means for some, in some change. Uh, that means uh, for some delta x minus a, the absolute a, a, x minus a should less than delta. But x closer to a, but not equal to a, so that greater than the end. So that's the first first part of the definition. For some delta, not all. Maybe actually, there's one delta is uh, is is okay. So that's the re relation between the intuitive intuitive definition and the precise definition of our limit. Okay, uh, that's the understanding for the um, precise definition of our, our limit. And uh, the uh, another difficulties of the formal de definition of a limit is how to use this definition to find the limit or prove some theorem. Uh, use uh, process to prove uh, proof limit or limit uh, uh, to prove limit uh, to prove the limit a exists or prove a limit uh, or to to evaluate or to evaluate limit from from this definition the epsilon the epsilon is any given number so we don't need to prove it. But from the definition, there exists. So if there exists delta, then the, the definition, uh, then the limit is proved. So the only thing we need to, need to do is find delta, to find delta such that all well, this uh, this uh, inequality holds. This and the goal is find delta such that f x minus l the absolute value f x minus l this holds let's go if we find the delta then the the uh, uh, and then and the proof uh, the, the proof is complete the step is this should hold so the step is uh, from this inequality from this uh, from this uh, inequality to find another inequality x minus a is absolute value of x minus a should less than something then the right hand side we can, we can, um, we can define the delta is here. This one is the delta. Then the the uh, the proof is complete. So we always start from the from this inequality, or start from. 
start from this inequality, then we uh, use that maybe R, R to uh, change the algebraically expression to some others, or use the uh, use other method to to de uh, to derive this inequality, x the absolute value of x minus a less than something. Okay, let's see some examples. The first one is show that the limit of x, the limit of x square minus one over x minus one when x uh, approaches to one is uh, is two. The proof is like that uh, for any or for for all for any epsilon greater than zero, this inequality this is L this is f x this inequality. This inequality is equivalent to x minus 1, x plus 1 over x minus 1, minus 2, less than epsilon. Then we cancel the common, uh, the common factor. This inequality is equivalent to x plus 1 minus 2 less than epsilon and this is equivalent to x minus 1 absolute value of x minus 1 less than epsilon so we find x minus a less than something so just let delta a cos epsilon then we uh, uh, state the uh, stated the definition of the uh, of the limit. Let the, the delta less uh, equals delta uh, uh, equals epsilon. Then, when x minus one less than delta or and greater than zero, the inequality. x square minus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 absolute value of less than epsilon holds so the limit of x tends to 1 x square minus 1 over x minus 1 is 2 that's the first one And mm, let's use an, uh, let's get another example. Uh, show that uh, limit. tends to 8 square root x plus 1 is 3 the proof is that for any epsilon greater than 0 square root x plus 1 minus 3 less than epsilon that is equivalent to uh, there's a radical sign, so we would better to uh, to rationalize to rationalize the expression as square root x plus one minus three times square root x plus one 
plus 3 over square root x plus 1 plus 3 Man, uh, that's less than epsilon this is equivalent to x plus 1 minus line over square root x plus 1 plus 3 less than epsilon that is x minus h over square root x plus 1 plus 3 less than epsilon and we change we uh, turn both sides by square root x plus 1 plus 3 that is x minus h less than square root x plus 1 plus 3 uh, times epsilon because this is positive this is positive we can take the absolute value uh, outside uh, uh, we can get rid of the absolute value now we cannot use the right hand uh, side to be uh, delta because there's x here x is changed to uh, x tends to 8 x is changing at uh, time and time so we cannot use the right hand side to be delta but we can change use some trick we can uh, we can get rid of x plus 1 because because x tends to 8 so we can assume x less than 9 greater than 7 because x is close is close to 8 so it's near 8 we can assume x less than 7 and uh, greater than 7 less than 9 so square root x plus 1 plus 3 less than uh, maybe we can mm, uh, is we can write uh, square root x plus 3 uh, x plus 1 uh, and plus 3 less than square root 10 plus 3 and greater than square root 8 plus 3 Then we know that then if x minus h less than square root h plus three times epsilon x minus h less than square root x plus one plus 3 times epsilon because this is smaller as uh, this is smaller than the original so so let just let so let delta equals square root 8 plus 3 times epsilon Uh, then if x minus h less than delta greater than zero the inequality uh, square root x plus one minus three less than epsilon holds so limit x uh, tends to h square root x plus 1 equals 3 uh, those examples I uh, use the definition to prove that that is a function the limit of a function is 
uh, some number.